what is it that gives your life a sense of meaning and purpose? Because once you find that, it puts you in your power place. See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. And if you don't know what it is that you showed up to do, if you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? What will be different? Have you ever asked yourself that question? I've done that. I, I remember coming from a friend of mine's funeral and I was reflecting on how much time I had left. And I went for a walk in a park thinking about this guy whose life was so promising. And I mean, he wasn't an old guy. He was quite young, in fact. And I thought about all of the things that he said he was going to do, and he never got a chance to do those things. And I start thinking about my own life and how much time I had left to do the things that I would like to do. And at that time, I wasn't sure what my life purpose was, what my life's work was. I wasn't sure about it at that time. And I thought about it quite a lot. I had some idea, but I wasn't convinced. I don't think I felt worth it. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? To Rhea Vision Avant, and this is the Virtual Profits Conference. I am so excited to have you guys here. Uh, definitely um, pumped up. You know, we've been having several weeks of just awesomeness take place right now. And uh, hold on, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can shout out someone real quick. I want to shout out none other than Mr. Randall Minifield of Young Mogul Ran. Young Mogul Ran. Uh, I'm actually rocking his t-shirt. It's real bright because the light is super bright, but it's a cute shirt right here for all my young moguls in the house. And all you have to do is go to his Instagram Young White U N G M O G U L underscore R A N N Young Mogul Ran. So shout out to him. But I'm super excited because first of all, this is the last day of the Virtual Profits Conference, and I'm not excited because it's the last day. I'm excited because you guys get to take the information that you have learned over these three weeks and turn them into some success. You get to turn them into success. And I pray that you guys do really go and do that. So look, I want to favor real quick. If everybody, uh, if you've been here since day one or maybe day two or day 10, whatever, it doesn't matter. We've been going for a long time. I want you to share with me from your fa one of your favorite speakers. Don't make it me. Don't make the favorite speaker myself, but outside of myself, one of your favorite speakers of the conference. I want you to share with me one of them and explain to me why they were your favorite. What was something that they gave you an aha moment for? You know, I like to call these aha moments something that you have learned, something that you've been able to take away. So please make sure that you share your aha moments with me. Also, I want to shout out to those of you who took advantage of my um, book that's coming out. And every single one of you that pre-ordered my book, you're going to get one of these beautiful 24K hundred dollar bills, as well as a copy of my book, A Six Figure Vision. So I'm just going to let y'all know. Thank you so much for those of you who support it. But most importantly, this conference, the Urban CEO Network is responsible for putting this conference together. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. And what we do, guys, is we bridge the gap between urban community as well as business success. We want to be able to bring success to our urban communities in ways that we all understand it, in ways that it's not overwhelming, confusing, that just seems like, you know what, that is just too far-fetched. We want to make it as, I guess I can call it kind of simple, basic, understandable, because at the end of the day, the day, success is not that complex. Success is not does not have to be confusing. Success does not have to be uh, overwhelming. It's a matter of doing small things over a long period of time. And if you're willing to do those things, you can have success come into your life. So let me just see uh, if anybody shouted out anybody that they like. Okay. So one of our viewers said that Tammy Moore was one of her favorites because of her energy and her knowledge of the trucking company. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Stevie Aisha Mills. Stevie Aisha Mills, she said that Candy Martin killed it yesterday and I hired her for my social media. Awesome. Very good, very good. So let's see, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else have anybody that you want to share? One of our speakers, guys. Another thing, let me just tell you, every single one of our speakers 
They invested into this. This is why we're able to give away many of these items. These items are not free. These items do cost, okay? So although you did not have to pay to register, they did cost somebody, right? So we have green screens, microphones, uh, ring lights, all types of stuff uh, that you guys had the opportunity. So thank you so much to our speakers who contributed to these giveaways. And I hope that you guys have made time to, to reach out to our speakers and thank them for their contribution and spending their time. Candace says that she loved Trevor Otts with the sexy as hell, sexy as hell what? Is, was he said? <laughs> I'm about to tag Trevor and say that you said he was sexy as hell. That's what I'm gonna say because you didn't put nothing else with it. So I'm gonna let him know that you said he was sexy as hell. All right, then anyways, who else? I uh, would like to share one of the people that you uh, learned from outside of myself, don't mention me, and what it is that you learned. Now, I also want to let you guys know that just because this conference is over does not mean you cannot go back to look at all the replays. All you have to do is go to our website, Urban CEO Network. Urban CEO Network will allow you to see all of the replays on the homepage. You'll see where you can click on the link to go to all of the replays and hear from all of our incredible speakers, okay? Um, hold on, let me see. We got some more. We got some more. Trevor Oss was one of my favorite speakers. I learned a lot from him and made some changes. He talks about making your digital branding sexy. It was really a good topic, and I learned a lot from it. Thank you, Michelle. Sine says, Markwell Russell drilled it in on how we must own the mountain and niche our specialty. Yes, because niches get riches. Yes, yes, yes. Markwell Russell, his system of helping so many in coaching to turn your income around and reach your target market step by step. I invested, no doubt, three-day rapid growth. And I'm gonna tell you guys, for those of you who did invest into both of them, you know, those are my coaches um, and I'm super excited. But if you invested in any one of our speakers, I want you to understand they are here because I believe in them too. So you guys have all made some really good investments into yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Stevie says, I also got to shout out Theresa Means. She is amazing. Make sure you let us know specifically what it is that is awesome about them so that our viewers can know who to go and look at, okay? Uh, she says, sexy as hell virtual events. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, Candace, because you just put sexy as hell, okay? Erica says, Trevor Otts moved me right into action. I became a black CEO, graphics group member. All my graphics will be sexy as hell. All, P Co P Coach Pat said all, but if I had to choose one, Trevor Otts built the tribe. Yes, yes, yes. We have LaShawn says, I loved Tammy Moore. Her energy was amazing. And she actually made me believe that I can start a trucking company. I'm excited to work with my family on getting our trucking company started. All right. Well, awesome. Okay. Well, good, guys. Well, again, we had amazing, amazing speakers. I know yesterday we had Candy, who was amazing as well. We had um, earlier in the day Kawano, who was teaching you guys about starting your own cl um, cleaning company. And so I know it's just too many to name, right? It was just too many speakers to name. And today we have another incredible speaker who's going to be finishing us off. But before we get into that, I also want to highlight to make sure you guys know about the Urban CEO Academy. Let me show you some of our Academy members. This is Deshonda Jennings, as well as Pixie Lee. If you go to urbanceoacademy.com, you can actually look into more information about being able to learn how you can join the Academy today, okay? Join the Academy today because, guys, I'm telling you guys, you're going to get some great information. And many of our speakers have also provided some additional bonus training in the Urban CEO Academy. So make sure you go and join. You can join for seven days. But if you do know an Academy member, any Academy members, if you know Academy members, Make sure to reach out to them because they may have a special discount code to give you 30 days free, but you need to be connected <laughs> to another Academy member. All right. So awesome. So thank you guys so much. Adrian uh, says, I loved Liv Nicole. She opened my eye and organized. Listen, you and I both, because I'm like... <laughs> I'm ready to get up out of this space right now, like yesterday, so that I could get into a more cohesive space so that I can do the things that I need to do, right? So I totally am with you on that, Adrian. Um, let me see. The rest of means from Lisa. She says she brought to lights the struggle of business ownership and getting to the right mindset. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much again for sharing and keep on sharing because even though it may not go on the screen, 
Um, there may be somebody else that sees it and they're just looking to find out who else should they go and watch. Now, of course, I recommend to watch all the replays, but maybe somebody needs something right away. And one thing about the Profits Conference, it's not just about profiting in your pocket, but you know, you got to be able to profit in mind, body, and soul. You got to be able to profit mentally first, right? Before you can even see an increase in your bottom line. Well, how many of you guys have hobbies, okay? If you have hobbies, I would love to know what your hobbies are. What are some of the things that you like to do just all the time? You know, I, one of the hobbies that I, I like to do, I don't know if this is a hobby or what you would, what did you want to call it? Hold on, I got something in my eyelash. I don't know what you would want to call this, but one of my hobbies is movies. So I love movies, right? I don't know if it's necessarily movies, but I guess a good hobby would be like if I ever wanted to like be a critique a person to critique movies. And I remember before we came into the world of social media, I never really understood like how I could be able to turn something like the thing that I love, which is watching movies into profits. But let's just say that like that was something that I absolutely love. Well, nowadays, guys, you could be able to turn that into a business. Somebody that loves watching movies, you want to turn that hobby into some coin. Well, there are ways to actually do that. And I'm so excited because that is what our speaker is going to be talking about today. How to be able to turn that hobby and turn that into some coin. Okay, how you doing? So I know that you guys have all types of hobbies here. Yes, I love crafting. What else do you guys like doing? Make sure to put your names as well if you are typing in one of our groups. If you're in a Facebook group, put your name so that we can see what it is, uh, who you are, okay? So if you guys like all types of stuff, hobby is serving the community, Awesome. Uh, guys, again, make sure to put your names. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and bring up our guest speaker so we can get straight into this because I don't want to hold you guys, guys up any longer. First of all, not only is she a speaker because she's one of our speakers today, but she's also a coach and she is definitely going to coach you guys on how to be able to turn that hobby into some coin. Okay, so without further ado, I want to introduce our speaker for the, she's not the last, okay, but she is on the last day of this particular conference, none other than Superstar herself. Hold on, let me make sure I get my applauses right. Y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready? Janice Parker on here! Well, Janice, you are in the house, darling, and we are so grateful to have you here on the very last day of the Virtual Profits Conference. How you doing, girl? Girl, I am fabulous, and I'm excited to be here. This has been an awesome conference. I just want to thank you for putting it on because this has just been amazing. We have had some amazing speakers, and I just count myself honored to be among them. Oh, well, thank you so much. Well, look, we, look let me tell you something. First and foremost, thank you for being here as well. Thank you for believing enough in me. Let me just pull my little camera up here. Thank you for believing enough, enough in me to making an investment to uh, bless these, these individuals, uh, many of our CEOs, future CEOs that are going to join the Urban CEO Academy. Um, but thank you for just believing in what we're doing here and being a part of this. So I'm going to go ahead and let you take the floor. I know we have people watching all over. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, multiple Facebook pages, and people are excited to hear about this topic of hobbies into dollars. So the floor is yours. Thank you, love. Thank you. If you can go ahead and just bring up the um, PowerPoint. Done. Okay, so um, as Taria said, I am Janice Parker O'Hara. Um, the PowerPoint is mostly to help me stay on topic because I love to talk and um, I can really kind of get carried away with this. So um, it's just going to help keep me on track. Um, first, a little bit about who I am. Um, I worked for 30 years as a deputy sheriff. I was a sworn law enforcement for 30 years, retired at the rank of lieutenant. Um, I am currently an associate real estate broker for a minority real estate firm in Central Virginia, and I am an entrepreneur. Um, so I'm really excited to be associated with um, Taria and her group. So um, as an entrepreneur, I have started my own company. I also work with several multi-level um, multi marketing organizations as well, and I do still actively work in real estate. I am the mother of two. Um, I have two amazing children. My son is a, an assistant dean of students at a university here in Virginia. And my daughter is um, an amazing soul. She does. She wears a lot of hats. You actually heard her speak earlier 
in this conference. And I am Nana to six amazing grandchildren. And I am also a widow. And that kind of brings me around to how my company got started. If you notice at the bottom of the screen, it says I'm an heiress. The reason I'm an heiress is not because I'm a widow, but because I am a child of the most high. My father owns the cattle on a thousand hills and I am an heir to the king of kings. So that's why I count myself an heiress. And that's why I named my company Heiress Farm. So when we get into talking about hustling your hobby, we want to talk about what your hobby is. Now, Taria says she likes movies. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can talk about when we talk about your hobby. Is your hobby something that is a product? Is it tangible? Is it something that's mailable and shippable? Um, is it something that's scalable? So when we talk about hobbies, my hobby that turned into my business is um, a, a tangible item. I make a product. It's a skin softening cream. And um, I started off making it for myself, which a lot of us do with our hobbies. We start off just doing stuff for ourselves to pass time, something to enjoy it. But people kept asking me about this product. So um, I realized it was something that I could turn into a business because it was something that people wanted. But um, another thing is a lot of times our hobbies are not something that we could necessarily ship. Say you're into woodworking, you make cabinets. That's not something you can readily, you know, pack up and tote to the mail, um, to the post office and ship off. So you have to talk about, is your hobby something that you can readily ship out or give to people? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a product. However, it can be a service. A lot of us love to cook. If you like to cook, I love to cook. I bake a lot, but I don't don't want to go from baking a few pies every week for my family to making a hundred pies a week to be shipped out. Um, so you want to consider if it's something like that or not. Also, you may like to read. I heard online the other day, a radio ad the other day for a company that will pay people to read books to seniors. So just because what you have is not a tangible product, does not mean it's not something you can turn into a hustle. If you like to, um, you know, if you like to sew or you're really good at, um, um, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can, that you like to do, you enjoy doing that may not necessarily produce a product, but you can turn that into a class. So if you like, driving your car fast on the weekends. You take your sports car out and you drive around, you know, the park or, um, you know, just go to a local track and drive around. That's something you could turn into a class. You can videotape yourself. You can teach people how to do it. It's things that you can turn into um, an online class or a coaching session. There are things that we like to do that may not produce a product, but you can do a one-on-one -on -one and talk somebody through it. Um, I'm trying to, think, you know, some of the things we like to do, sewing, um, reading books, watching movies, um, putting models together. We have people who put together um, like model airplanes and model cars. You can talk people into that. You can, um, you know, take videos of that, showing people how it's done. And that is a way that you can take something that you do for fun and to just spend your time and relax and turn that into something that you can actually get paid for. So once you have identified what it is, if it's, if it's not something that's a tangible product that you're going to make and ship and um, ship out to people, if it's you know, or if it's a class that you're going to teach or put together and market it, then the next thing is to hustle it. Where can you go to actually make the sale? So again, Tari always talks about niches get riches. So you got to find out who is the, who is your target market for that particular item? If you are looking for people who you know, love comic books and you're going to talk to them about how to order comic books and, um, 
you know, where the best sources are to get them and trade them, then you can go online. There's groups for that online. There's Facebook um, groups. There's affinity groups through different avenues that you can look at that will help you get those things marketed. Um, one of the places, some of the places you can look at um, on Evite, evite.com, people set up um, groups and invite people to different parties. A lot of them are open. And again, they're affinity groups. So um, you can go on Evite and search for whatever your particular hobby is. Um, meetup is another one. There's groups that meet up within different communities, people who have likeness. A lot of book clubs are listed on Meetup. So if you like to read and you want to market um, a class or some service, um, you can go through Meetup. Um, Sign Up Genius is another one. Um, and again, it's one of those online groups where you can search for things that are going to be put you in the space of people who are like-minded, people who are interested in whatever your hustle is. Um, another thing is don't discount social and professional groups. A lot of people have, you know, like me, I have a regular job. So a lot of what I sell when I sell my products, I sell to people that I work with, um, depending on your work or Strictly an entrepreneur, you may not have a work group that you can sell to, but if you do and you have a nine to five grind and you're doing this as a side hustle, don't overlook those people because there's ways you can market to those people as well. Also, your social groups, um, you know, 100 Black Women, uh, your lodge group, your sorors, your, um, your church, you know, so don't overlook those as venues. And a lot of times those groups have access to areas that would be good marketplaces for you. Um, if you have a church bazaar or um, they may have um, in your community, they may have a farmer's market. If you can take things to a farmer market or different vendor fairs, um, don't be afraid to, you know, gather it up and take it out there. A lot of times when you're starting with a hobby, as opposed to a structured business model, um, a lot of your advertising initially is going to be worth word of mouth. Don't be afraid to get out there and talk to people and, you know, carry it in your purse or, you know, carry that flyer and, you know, pass that brochure out when you're out and about. Um, don't forget about service people that you deal with. If, you know, when you're going to the hairdresser, you know, take that out and, talk, you know, talk to her about it. Talk to people there because those are really good ways to get your product, your service out there um, without having a big marketing budget, because a lot of times when we're talking about a side hustle or um, just hustling your hobby, um, you know, it's something that you're doing on the side for supplement. At least it was for me when I started mine, it was supplemental income because I lost my husband's income and my, um, my household income changed and I needed a way to boost that without um, necessarily impacting my household budget you know, to the negative. So I didn't have a lot of money to invest in marketing um, at the start, but um, you don't have to have a lot of money. You just have to have the ability to talk to people and not be afraid to get out there. And of course, social media. We all know that um, social media is a great way to advertise, a great way to market. It's inexpensive. And again, there's a lot of affinity groups. Um, there's a lot of affinity groups on Facebook. You can search um you know, different things and um, find people who are willing to support you, boost your product, listen to your class, um, take you up on your service. So um, don't be afraid to get out there. Um, when we talk about hustling your hobby, it's kind of a grind, but um, it's, it's not so much as a primary business, but it's great um, it's a great side hustle. It's a great side gig as a way to help you do something that you're, take something that you're already doing and use it to bring some additional income in. So with that said, um, you can reach me. Um, Taria, your face 
is blocking the number and I'm drawing a blank on <laughs> my business phone is um, you can text me um, on my, my business phone is 434-826 and I do not have the number memorized. Forgive me. I don't, um, I, I haven't printed on material. Um, oh, wait a minute. I know where it is. I do have it written down. Y'all forgive me. I'm crazy. But like I said, this is um, kind of side gig for me and I had to keep it separate from the rest of my stuff, uh, for, keep it separate from my real estate business. But you can text me at 434-826-826. 8792 because I have a free ebook that you can get. If you text me at that number, I will send you a free ebook on um, just identifying um, some hobbies and some hustles that can help bring some money in um, as a, as a, you know, a starter place. Um, you can email me at arisfarm at gmail.com if you have additional questions, or you can support me at my website, JaniceParkerO'Hara.com. And, and um, that's pretty much it. Just don't be afraid to get out there. If it's something that you're already doing, something you already enjoy doing, um, there is a way to make money from it. So don't be afraid to get out there and grind. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to pop up the screen as well. Um, so Janice, real quick, what is the ebook that they're going to get about? What's the title of it? The title of the ebook is, um, or what, is it about? what is it about? It's, it's about turning your DIY into a side business. Awesome. Now, when somebody comes to you, like, are you helping them to learn how to take the stuff that they like to do, do it yourself, their hobbies and things of that nature into a business? Is that something you assist with? Yes, I can help um, basically help people brainstorm, help them find venues to market it, help them identify, you know, what it is they have. Like I said, a lot of times people have hobbies that they don't necessarily think would garner them money. It's like, you know, I like to read books. I like to, you know, go horseback riding or whatever, and they don't see a way to make um, money from that. So that would be something I would just help them brainstorm and figure out how to turn it into a grind. Absolutely. So guys, make sure to send that text message to at least get the free ebook, first Absolutely. of all. And then of course we have the email. I would say start off with the text message because that'll at least get you connected. I, I generally like to just give people one instruction because I know how y'all do. Y'all gonna be all over the place. So send in that text message tonight because a lot of us do a lot of things we don't even realize that, you know, that we know how to do on our own. I was talking about that, Janice. A lot of us don't even realize that a lot of the stuff we know how to do without thinking about it, those can actually be turned into opportunities. And so if you know how to do anything, like I was on YouTube the other day and this girl was showing people how to take baskets from the dollar store and spray them and make them like a nightstand. And it looked like it had glass on it. Like it a glass looking top. It looked like so nice. It looked super upscale and it was super custom. But that is something that she has turned to do a DIY project, turned it into yes. a YouTube channel where she's got hundreds of thousands of followers and she's making money from it. So yes. you know, a lot of the things that we don't think about because we just do them without thinking, those are opportunities. So again, make sure you guys send out that text message to 434 Eight two six eight seven nine two, and I would say yeah. that even in this time right now, you know, this is good for you know for for anyone that likes to do stuff, right? So I'm sure that there's a lot of college students that would love to be able to turn some DIY into some coin. Uh, have you worked with college students as well? I have not, but I certainly will. <laughs> no, so look, I think that that would be a great uh, market, and of course, our moms or or women out there. Um, great opportunities for you guys. So do you have any last imparting words that you wanted to leave with our viewers about DIY or hobbies and businesses? I just want to say, you know, it, you know, a lot of us are, um, a lot of people, their jobs are, um, keep, you know, they're not making the money that they were making before this, uh, pandemic, but, you know, you, that doesn't mean you just have to sit at home idle because the things that you're doing around the house now that you're just doing to keep yourself entertained and fun, you know, it might be something that can bring you some extra money. So, you know, check it out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And just like she said, the stuff that you're just doing and you're not even thinking about things that you're doing, hobbies. 
I know that right now they got all these ads online, a child with all type of little stuff that you can make, like, you know, from jewelry to nail stuff to all type of things. And people are literally now becoming, you know, becoming entrepreneurs right before our eyes because we're forced into these positions or situations. So Janice, thank you so much for being here. Again, guys, everybody, you want to go to 434-826-8792. Get her free ebook. This is all her contact details as well. You could do a screenshot of this right now, do a screenshot of this right now, but I would highly recommend make sure that you reach out. Many of you guys Try to figure out what your daughter gonna do, your son gonna do. Try to figure out what your 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 husband or your wife or your friend. Well, this is a great opportunity for them to be able to figure out the things that they like doing already and how to be able to turn those into profits. Janice, thank you so much for joining us and making yourself available. This was um, actually an extended day and she said, I'm gonna make myself available and be able to get on. So I am so grateful for you for spending time with us here mm -hmm. Virtual Profits Conference. Oh, I thought she was gonna say something. I was just bringing you Thank up. you. You're absolutely <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all, well look, as y'all know, this is the last day to also do giveaways, okay? So we're going to go over to the Facebook group in the Profits Conference. We're going to go over to the Facebook group right now. We're going to do one more giveaway for today, and we still have a couple more items that are available. Um, so you want to make sure that you join us over in the Facebook group. We have one more item that we're going to be giving away on today, and it is the Profits Conference. Now, you must, or Virtual Profits Conference, you must be registered. Another thing that I want to add to everybody is that we are going to be having a physical conference and you're going to get a chance to meet Janice as well as a couple of our other speakers that were supposed to be speaking in at the April 18th conference in Atlanta, Georgia. But of course, due to the whole world the pandemic, we had to postpone it, but that does not mean that we're not going to have it. Okay. So we're going to be having it guys. So stay tuned. It may be, I don't know if we're going to do it this year, but it may be in January to start your year off strong. Okay. One cool thing about the virtual profits conference is that there will be free ticket tits, but they will be limited. And then we will also have VIP seating. Okay. So the VIP seating gets some additional bonus training. Uh, but if you want to be a VIP, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Okay. So when we get that available, we'll make sure to contact each and every one of you guys to let you know when to register for the physical virtual profits conference. And if you don't live in Atlanta, you are welcome to travel in. Atlanta's always a good key key. So pull up on Atlanta for the profits conference, y'all. Again, we will see you guys later. And everybody is saying thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of people love the information. Good information. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. Hey, can't wait for the physical conference. I know, right, Theresa? Thank you, Janice. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we'll see you over in the other Facebook group. My name is Taria Vision of I. And look, for the for this being the last conference, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this out by letting you guys introduce yourself. So go ahead and get your introductions ready, and we're gonna close this thing out strong.